dear viewers today we are going to see the that is a directional relay function using phasor measurement unit so today class basic thing we are going to see now that is the phasor measurement unit is a basic thing suppose if you are going to measure the voltage of bus 1 this is two bus system this is bus 1 again this is bus number 2 here connected these two buses by using one transmission line right so the sending and voltage we are assumed as v1 receiving and voltage we are assumed as v2 the wave of v1 and its angle and a wave of v2 and its angle we are giving right so we have some uh, the vectorical difference of the v1 and v2 that is already we are known the power transmission is p is equal to v1 into v2 divided by x into sine del so that is the del voltage angle between the that is sending end voltage and receiving end voltage so based on this voltage uh, we are identifying the uh, uh, different types of uh, faults okay how the uh, pmu which may be going to connect it. so this is the phase conductor that is in the transmission line we are using the pt potential transformer again the ct current transformer these are all the burdens that is uh, ct and burden uh, circuit again attenuator or anti alloy circuits which means going to uh, that is remove the non fundamental component and extract the fundamental component and then feed into that phasor measurement unit so the phasor measurement unit which may be going to compute the not only the magnitude but also instantaneous angle value here we are going to assume this is one tower this is one tower that is the transmission line between the two tower so the voltage of this wave one assumed as it angle is del again that the voltage which is another one that is the uh, del that is a del 2 so that is the different v1 and v2 we are obtained peak value for the different time in the rx that is that in the phasor diagram so this is that the voltage magnitude again this is the another one voltage magnitude that is the angle between the two phases that is del 1 and del 2 finally we are obtaining the value of del 2 by using uh, uh, the latest technology uh, of uh, that is uh, PLL phase lock loop and uh, another some uh, other techniques that phase windowing effect in digital uh, signal control based systems we are obtaining the angle of the uh, system based on this angle we are realized the uh, simply that is we are going to identify the or uh, which man going to release the different types of uh, uh, relays okay on this category this is the primary step or first stage of pme utilization in subsequent videos i am also going to cover so different variety of PME based controls how it can be implemented here assume this is the one voltage source again this is the another one voltage source which may be going to connect it through the uh, pi type transmission line that is the pi type uh, model I am also going to include here so this is the uh, normal what is that the voltage is a face to face is a 400 volt and uh, I am also uh, giving that uh, 25 uh, MEA rating at that rating and the same 50 Hz frequency this is the transmission line so this is normally the three phase measurement system already you are well known again I am also going to connect the one small load and another one large load this load is a 20 uh, that is a 200 uh, kilowatt again this is uh, the 200 watts around uh, I am also going to uh, uh, connect so if it is whenever that the uh, current direction is reverse, I am going to trip this load. 
okay suppose i am going to trip this circuit trip this circuit trip this circuit for explanation uh, for uh, simplification purpose i am also going to trip this okay so how it can be identified so this is nothing but a synchronous machine model so it is already available in the matlab that is the 15 kilowatt that is 400 volt 1460 rpm i am also going to connect so this is the torque uh, whichever i am also going to given to you given to the specific module so this is the minus 25 which means the uh, circuit which may be going to work as a uh, what is this it may be working as an induction generator again that is uh, if it is in the positive torque the machine will be going to working as a motor here that is the generator here the machine will be act as a motor so 0 to 0.5 seconds that machine which may be going to act as a induction generator after that the machine which may be going to act as a motor so if the load is increased the direction of that current which may be going to in reverse again that is i am going to uh, trip the some other load to avoid the overloading okay so this is the basic uh, uh, thing so this is the three phase measurement that is uh, label based measurement vabc1 iabc1 similarly i am also going to get that is vabc vabc1 and vabc2 here that is the uh, unit which is a phase r measurement uh, uh, unit so based on by using the PLL positive sequence PLL based concept so this is that the value of 50 hertz frequency and I am going to take the sampling per cycle is a 64 samples so the reporting uh, that is the rate factor is a 1 okay similarly this is the uh, current PLL so this PLL which may be going to find the what is the magnitude and angle and frequency similarly this PLL what is the current magnitude current angle and the current that is the what is the frequency so and also I am also going to connect the A phase voltage and A phase current which may be connected in this scope and I am also going to merge it may be going to connected in this by using max for identifying the angle deflection okay now i want to uh, uh, implement that the relay concept so that is a definite time also i want to give some uh, uh, time for initial rising period to avoid the initial rising period this is the uh, time for the initial rising period so i am also include the 0.2 seconds so after the 0.2 seconds the relay which may be going to connect uh, uh, the output of that uh, the PMU before that the circuit which may be connected into one this circuit which is going to connect this uh, uh, as like this this load again this load which may be integrated in the this small load so the now the setting operation is whenever the generate uh, the machine is working as a induction generator the load is connected whenever the the power transfer is the reverse is working as a motor it may be going to trip so that is the basic operation so which may be realized the uh, directional based on the directional over current or directional current value we are going to be trip the system that direction which can be identified by the pmu phasor unit now we are going to run the simulation so now i am going to run the simulation simulation is running so from that uh, point so now we are going to see right so this is a uh, what is that uh, this is the voltage and uh, current already that is the scene we are going to be uh, uh, available in that uh, uh, system again please see so some difference is occur here so because due to presence of the change of mode please see this is this is the point this is the point which may be going to see some variations okay right so now uh, i am also that is the voltage abc2 current i abc2 i have connected here so now we are going to see what is the pmu output that is the magnitude of the voltage next what is the current 
see if the induction machine working as a generator the voltage angle is that much level but at the same time if the machine is working as a motor the load angle which may be increased from that the minus 30 to minus 36 at all for that the del angle of that pmu next we are going to see 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 this wonderful action that is is a, a very important uh, thing uh, uh, that is uh, here this is the value which is lie in the uh, positive again this means the machine which may be run as a uh, what is this that is a generating mode N next that is the point 0.5 we are going to shift our the torque from uh, negative to positive the machine is working as a uh, that is a motor so now that is the current uh, drawn by the machine which also going to be changed so this is the uh, the during the induction machine working as a generator it may supply uh, around uh, 10 plus amps but it can be draw the 20 plus amps in the motoring so similarly we are going to identify this phase angle shifting from that uh, that what is this 0 to 90 and 90 to 190 so this may be light uh, in the second quadrant but it may be going to shift it into fourth quadrant how it is uh, we now we are going to see so this is that uh, the diagram uh, 0.5 we are uh, changes Please, uh, we are going to uh, see that that the, uh, the point 0.5 operations. So clearly, uh, it may be going to indicate uh, for us. Uh, I am also going to focus on this. See, please see the diagram. The voltage and the current has been 180 degree nearby 180 degree out of phase, which means the machine will be working as a generator. Here, the voltage and the current which may be going to that is uh, some lagging time based on that power factor, it may be going to lag that is different. So, the machine will be going to working as a uh, that is motor. So, this angle difference which can be find out by this uh, relay. So, this relay will be again. I am also going to feed this value and uh, compare. Here that is the sum value, the positive and the negative. If the value is going to negative, again it may be less than zero and I am also going to connect. But I have some uh, time lag is record because uh, the settling time of that simulation it may going to take a 0.2 uh, uh, seconds. So for that purpose I am also going to take in from this. Okay, right. So I am also going to put these operations. So after before the point two, the relay which may be going to give the one in the circuit, the output which may be going to connected in the load. After that, if the comparative result which may be going to given to that circuit, that operation which may be going to trip the circuit. Here, please see that the output of that circuit. So that is normally working is one. So whenever it may be going to reach us, that is in that. Uh, uh, the system which may be going to off because in the motoring mode that is the additional load is switched off so this is the basic concept of a phasor measurement unit so the phasor measurement unit which can be used as the phase lock loop concept so simply there is the current measurement which is able to uh, uh, trip the or uh, compute the uh, system uh, okay but uh, naturally we need the both uh, uh, that is the uh, CT and the PT for conventional meters. But if you are needed the uh, uh, CT and the PT, if you have only CT for enough for PMU based directional relay. So only the, uh, the current direction which is easily identified by using the uh, phasor measurement uh, unit based relay. Once again I repeat that. The conventional type of directional over current relay which need the both CT and PT but PMU based directional relay which may be need only the CT we are going to compute the angle and then which can be easily find out the, the direction angle of the relay so it can be realized. I am also going to put the video for the PMU which can be used for the different type of relay characteristics. Okay. Right.